I never felt anything like it before. I'm like, I'm, I'm in my own world. You think you know who I am? am I the Nicaraguan people we met hated the contrast for all the pain and suffering that they had caused them. And since there's no hot water, that he had to boil some. I'm 23, and now I've decided to enlist in the United States Army. And we stay here, he's not going to make it. People make it vital. God ain't made no food here. This is a strong black woman. So then for a hell of a fight. The Geriatric Career Development Program is a workforce development program that provides youth with an opportunity to become uh, exposed to healthcare careers. So we mainly serve vulnerable students from underserved communities with an opportunity to become this healthcare professional. We, we train them academically, we professionally develop them, we teach them clinical skills in order to become a certified nursing assistant. Before we start our components, like life skills, CNA skills, we try to have everybody together for the building team exercises. My peers and me work together to figure out a problem and then solve it. Thursday with the students, we're doing a team building activity. So uh, it's important that the students learn how to work with each other because a lot of times uh, the schools, they have so many standards to hit and they don't know, and kids don't always have a chance to uh, work together and have just uh, good fun while working together. They start in their sophomore year and they start learning soft skills. So they just start learning um, sort of clinical skills. And the skill corner is preparation for CNA classes, which we'll be having in our senior year classes. So like for instance, today we learned about how to work with the elderly and how to wash their dentures and just pretty much basic CNA skills that will help us from when we take the class. We'll just pretty much have an insight of it already. So these are very important skills that our, our young people learn before they actually interact with our elders. After a couple months, they actually go on to the floors and they actually work with the elders on the nursing units. And they play different games with the residents. They talk about life with the residents. Everything to engage the residents to help better their day as well. You got it, Sumi, come on. Yeah. All right, we we'll first. first. That went first last time, but all right. You got it? No cheating today, Sumi. We gonna win. Oh, you saw you wanna move too? Okay, one, two. Your turn, Sumi. What's that? Three. Good job. You got three. Mm. Moving forward three. So you want to move this piece or you want to move that piece? <laughs> we don't want them to look at the elderly as patients or anything else. We want them to just look at them as human. A lot of our students wanted to go to college. So we started focusing more on college access. So we work with college access counselors to provide our young people with support so they can make an informed decision about their post-secondary options. When I say post-secondary, it, it can mean a training program, a college or university, or even military, just exposing them to those opportunities. In their junior year, that's when they really become focused in on, on the college process. In the summer of their senior year, which is when they become rising seniors, they actually take a course. Once they take the state test, uh, and they pass, they will actually become certified nursing assistants or aides. Right now we're taking classes for five weeks and then we're going on clinical and then we have our tests and we become certified and after that we get our job at the New George Home. 
I wear my uniform more than like normal clothes. Like oh, during the week, I only wear normal clothes like on the weekends. I usually have it out like ready to wear in the morning. So like when I see it, I'd be like, do I really have to wear it today? <laughs> One positive is in the mornings, I don't have to think about what I'm going to wear. I already know what I'm, I'm going to wear. Right now we're wearing all white shoes with no holes because if any of the bodily fluids fall on your shoes and they have holes, they could potentially get onto your skin and give you an infection. If you can't see, we need to have long socks. Our IDs at all times. The watch has to have a second hand. Earrings, you can have hoops, like nose rings. Your nails have to be short. Like if you go like this and you still see it, that means they're too long. And there's about 22 scales and we are expected to know those in order to get certified. This is our textbook. This is what we use since day one. And pretty much we have everything here, the um, anatomy part and like the scales. So a normal pulse is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Respiration is 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Your blood pressure should be 120 over 80. You might think you know how to wash your hands, but you really don't. Take a paper towel, rip it in half, turn the water on. And then first you wet your hands. You take some soap. And then you start at the back of your hands. And then you do your fingers. And then you do your cuticles and like nails, basically. And you can never shake your hands. You always have to squeeze your hands because when you shake your hands, like germs on your hands could like spread and stuff. And then you pat dry from the wrist down. And then when you're done, you take another paper towel and close the sink. And then that's how you wash your hands. We have this, um, Thing that every week we have to, we have every Tuesday we have an abbreviation test. These are all the terms we're, we're expected to know by the end of the, um, this course. So like every week our, our teacher will tell us, oh, well, study for this test from A to C. So we will have to learn all of those and we do that every Tuesday. Most of my time goes to GCD. Like I go to school from Monday through Friday and then um, GCD, I had to go on Wednesdays and Fridays. And like at first, I'm like really looking at them like, what am I doing? Like, do I really want to do this? My first impression was, this is a lot of work. Should I quit now? It's overwhelming. Like, right now I'm supposed to be in Dominican Republic with my family on vacation. But instead, um, I gave up my trip and I'm here because this is what I like to do. I want to be part of the medical field and I guess that I'm on the right path and I hope it's worth it. Like, I'm going to be highly upset if I don't pass my test at the end and if I don't get certified because it's going to be a whole summer going into the garbage. We decided to expand our GCD program to include um, younger adults. So we serve 18 to 24 year olds. In a, in a truncated GCD program. So the high school program is three years in duration, but the older youth program is actually three months in duration. A lot of these individuals that we serve through this older youth program haven't graduated high school, have not gone to college, and they're just looking for an opportunity to become trained as a healthcare professional. I dropped out of high school at a young age, and I knew that I wasn't getting any younger. I was only getting older. I'm 21 right now, so I feel like I'm, at this point in life, I, I'm trying to get my life better. So when I seen it on Indeed, I felt like it was a, it was a, it was an open door opportunity because I knew that I wanted to become a nurse. I thought that it was gonna be really hard because I thought it was more of like schooling. I really did take it serious. So I would say that is the difference. I was motivated. I was devoted. I wanted to do it. That's something I wanted to do. If I would have found out about this program sooner, I think I would have been more focused in life and I think I would have definitely finished high school and I tried to influence them all the time to finish high school because this is a great opportunity and it's great 16 year olds becoming a CNA like it's good that you're taking this opportunity very serious yeah I understand that y'all want to enjoy your summer but there's always next summer what I would say is don't give up because if you made it this far there's no like it makes no sense on giving up
because what are you giving up for? It's worth it. It's going to be worth it in the long run. Now the elevators are hard to find, so I got lost the first day. And usually they take a while, so be prepared to be here for a while. Jimmy's one of our standout students. He graduated this program already with an associate's degree. And then he got his CNA license, he got his PCT license. He actually works for the New Jewish Home now and attends Lehman College. Um, the New Jewish Home, I, I currently work as a CNA, which is a certified nursing assistant, where I assist elders with activities of daily living. He is one of our orderlies on Frank II and I ensure that he knows where his assignment would be for the day. Well, I think the connection with the patient is the most important um, point to know, and I think right out of the program, they instill that into the students. And then they become mine. <laughs> Great, all right, thank you, Cecilia. You're welcome, <laughs> anytime. Right here at the nursing department. Have a great day. Right. <laughs> you can edit that. <laughs> i see you later. Right, see you. Have a great day, right, thank you. you. And I wanted to be able to understand like the depth of the medical aspect. I wanted to be able to understand what I wanted to pursue as a career in college. The program seemed like it offered a lot, but yet it took away from like my social life. But it was something that I was willing to com compromise and you know, just com give my devotion to. I came to the program, you know, I sent my wishes, but the, the program to me was more important than anything else. My father passed at a young age, so I wasn't able to actually have a male role model these people here were able to show me that you know there is good that men can be useful in the medical aspect because at first my narrow-minded self thought that it medical aspect was for women nursing women i have seen a couple people look at me a certain type of way when i approach the floors just me being a cna they ask me why do i do, why do i do this why is it that I want to be a nurse. Why don't I continue being a doctor? In my opinion, working here, I see how the nurses are able to interact with the residents, how they are able to speak to them and actually get to know them on a, on a deeper level. So I want to be able to speak to everyone. I want to be able to get to know everyone and I want to help everyone and the best way possible. A lot of our residents come into this space without having any family or friends to care for them. But with working with the GCD students, they feel alive again. The elders have always say that they, they like working with the students, they would love to see them more, and, and it brings more life to the new Jewish home. She never won a game in Bengal. I got it. What the beat? Just the most I've seen last.